the sleek Aston Martin DB5 that James Bond made famous. You'll be using this Aston Martin DB5 windscreen bullet. To the time-traveling DeLorean from Back to the Future. These cars have become memorable to millions. This list is going to be very controversial, so let's jump into it. I gotta get me one of those. 10. Mini Cooper S. Italian job. The Mini Cooper S played a significant role in both the original 1969 film and the 2003 remake of The Italian Job. In the 1969 version, 16 Mini Coopers were used, all pre-1968 MK models. The movie's car stunts were more fantasy than reality, showing the Minis driving into sewers, leaping off rooftops, and even driving on railway tracks. Unfortunately, none of the 16 Mini Coopers from the show survived as they were all destroyed during filming. In the 2003 remake, the first Mini Cooper to appear in the movie is a 1997 Mini Cooper MK7 driven by Charlize Theron. The car is reminiscent of, and thus an homage to, one of the cars of the original Italian job. The Minis in this version of the film performed their own stunts, including a reverse 180-degree turn in a cramped warehouse, driving through a Los Angeles canal, descending a flight of stairs into the metro, navigating the narrow underground maze, getting into a shootout with motorcycle-riding baddies, and playing chicken with a helicopter under an actual freeway overpass. Nine, Ferrari 250 GT SWB California Spider. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. The 1961 Ferrari 250 GT SWB California Spider, stealing the spotlight in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Surprisingly, the car you see gracefully cruising through the movie isn't the real deal, but a cunning replica crafted by modern design and development. In a fascinating twist of fate, the original script called for a Mercedes, but director John Hughes, captivated by the beauty of the Modena Spider California, made a last-minute switch to the Ferrari replica. Three replicas were used in the film, one of which met an unfortunate end in one of the movie's most iconic scenes. Here's a bit of spoilers. The car that was driven by Ferris and the shady ballet guy and was ultimately destroyed was just a replica, but they did bring in a real one for tight shots that required a more convincing Ferrari. But it doesn't end here. 8. Ecto-1 – Ghostbusters The Ecto-1, or as we like to call it, the Ectomobile, the rock star of the Ghostbusters gang. It was a 1959 Cadillac Miller Meteor Sentinel, originally an ambulance turned into a limo-style ghost-busting machine, crafted by the genius Stephen Dane, credited as a hardware consultant. That's a fancy title, right? This bad boy was the Ghostbusters ticket to zoom around New York City, putting those pesky ghosts in their place. Dr. Ray Stance, the hero with a mortgage on his mom's house, stumbled upon the Ecto-1 after his real estate adventures. Now, here's the best part. Ray, with his toolbox and mechanical wizardry, scored the ride for a cool $4,800. After some TLC, the Ecto-1 became the poster child of the Ghostbusters, an instantly recognizable and oozing character. But hold on. In Ghostbusters 2, when the Ghostbusters faced a temporary shutdown, our beloved Ecto-1 found itself moonlighting at kiddie parties. It went from ghost-busting glory to smoke-spewing problem-ridden days. Thankfully, after a hiatus, a return to business, and a sibling ghost-catching mission, it got a makeover and a fancy new name, Ecto-1A. Talk about a second lease on the afterlife. 7. 1968 Volkswagen Beetle Herbie, the 1968 Volkswagen Beetle the four-wheeled sensation we all know as Herbie. The pearl-white 1963 VW Beetle was not just a car, but a character with a personality all its own. This bug stole the show in Disney's 1968 comedy The Love Bug, marking the end of Walt Disney's live-action era. Herbie wasn't just a one-hit wonder, it revved up for sequels like Herbie Rides Again, Herbie Goes to Monte Carlo, and even a TV series proving that this bug had more tricks up its sleeve than a magician at a bunny convention. Now, the twist in the Beatles' tale, originally designed by Ferdinand Porsche of Adolf Hitler's People's Car Dream, it later morphed into a symbol of the 1960s hippie vibe. And get this, a 1963 Beetle with a 2.3-liter flat-four engine fetched a whopping $72,000 at auction in 2016. Who knew a bug could have such street cred? 6. Aston Martin DB5, James Bond Films Anyway, how can we talk about cars and movies without mentioning the James Bond films? 
So let's switch lanes and cruise into the world of elegance with the Aston Martin DB5, a true luxury grand tourer and the James Bond of cars. Born in 1963 at the hands of British luxury wizards at Aston Martin, this beauty became Bond's third wheel in Goldfinger and kept stealing the show in films like Thunderball, GoldenEye, and even No Time to Die. Equipped with more gadgets than your favorite spy's toolkit, think 30 caliber machine guns, tire shredding blades, and a smoke emitting party mode, the DB5 is not just a car, it's a secret agent on wheels. With a 4.0 liter straight six engine belting out 282 horsepower and a top speed of 145 miles per hour, it's the 007 of the road. A fun fact? Roger Moore and Timothy Dalton missed out on the DB5 joyride, but it made a stylish comeback in GoldenEye after a 30-year hiatus. Imagine the Bond-level swagger packed into those sleek 4,572 millimeters. 5. 1969 Dodge Charger – Dukes of Hazard. The 1969 Dodge Charger, famously christened the General Lee in the Dukes of Hazard. This orange beast with its 7.0 liter V8 heart became the Duke boy's partner in crime, sporting high flying stunts, a distinctive horn, and police chases that would make any cop's head spin. Imagine this charger's life, doors welded shut, cousins climbing in and out through the windows, and a roof graphic that stirred a bit of controversy. Originally a 318, Warner Brothers juiced it up for a 360 for the thrill of the show. But here's the best part. To avoid nose diving during jumps, they packed 500 to 1,000 pounds of sandbags in the trunk. Talk about a car with a weighty secret. And we are not done yet. We still have more liners and cars too. 4. 1992 Ford Explorer XLT UN46 the 1992 Ford Explorer XLT UN46, a star in the dino-packed blockbuster Jurassic Park. This SUV was involved in some action, literally, from cruising through the jungle, main characters gripping the wheel, to a T-Rex giving it the old Jurassic side eye. But here's the twist. In the original books, they were supposed to roll in electric Toyota Land Cruisers, but Spielberg, having a sweet deal with Ford, opted for Explorers. Cleverly modified by industrial light and magic, these explorers seemed driverless, with ILM engineering the control from the trunk. And that jaw-dropping T-Rex shot? Thank the full-length sunroof, which turned a regular scream into a dino-sized one. Remember that scene where the T-Rex went on a car-crushing spree? Yep, that's the explorer's shining moment, making it the four-wheeled hero in a dino-sized adventure. 3. 1970 Dodge Charger – The Fast and Furious Now, before we get to a car all people love, let's look at the 1970 Dodge Charger, the muscle car master in the Fast and the Furious series. Just like Vin Diesel's Dominic Toretto, because every action hero needs a four-wheeled sidekick. Built by Dodge between 66 and 72, the 70 model was the rock star with a sleek grill, flashy lights, and a shaker hood that could stir up a storm. Under the hood, a 440 six-pack flexed its muscles, unleashing 390 horses and hitting speeds up to 200 miles per hour. Talk about one speedy charger! But here's the twist. In the movie, they teased a supercharged Hemi V8, while the real stunt cars sported Chevy crate motors for a dose of movie magic simplicity. Imagine a real live blown 528 cubic inch Hemi V8 making those movie stunts come alive! 2. The Batmobile or as it's famously known in Batman Begins, the Tumbler. Does it come in black? This sleek, mean machine is not just a car. It's practically a co-star. Designed by the dynamic duo Christopher Nolan and Nathan Crowley, who conjured up seven Batmobiles for the Dark Knight trilogy. It comes in many faces, a military prototype, off-road tank, but don't be fooled, it's got brains and style with dimensions that make it look like a stealthy beast at 4.62 meters long, 2.79 meters wide, and 1.5 meters tall, weighing in at a cool 5,000 pounds, it's not your average ride. It's Batman's sleek, crime-fighting companion. Under the hood roars a beastly 5.7-liter GM V8 engine, pumping out a jaw-dropping 500 horsepower. And that jet engine at the back, fueled by propane tanks, making it the coolest barbecue grill on wheels. With four Interco Super Swapper TSL tires in the rear and two Hoosier Checkerboard dirt tires up front, this baby's ready to tackle any terrain. 
But it's not just about looks and power. The Tumbler is Batman's Swiss army knife on wheels. Armed to the teeth with gadgets and custom weapons, whether it's chasing villains or making a jaw-dropping entrance, the Tumbler is always stealing the show and ready for action. 1. DeLorean – Back to the Future There's no way you can make a movie car list and leave this iconic car off. The DeLorean DMC-12, the real MVP of Back to the Future, and a true icon in the world of movie cars. This sleek beauty, dreamed up by the trailblazer John DeLorean, wasn't just any sports car, it was a bold disruptor, challenging the norms of safety, sustainability, and fuel efficiency. Sure, the DMC-12 might not have been the speedster of the century, with its 130 horsepower and a 0-60 to 60 sprint that took its sweet time, but boy did it look like it belonged to the future. Despite some bumps in the road for the DeLorean Motor Company, the DMC-12 got its golden ticket to stardom in the Back to the Future series, with Doc Brown's genius touch turning it into a time machine with a flux capacitor and a craving for 1.21 gigawatts, the DeLorean became more than just a car. It became a cultural icon. Now I know what you're thinking. You've made it to the end of this video, and you didn't see your favorite movie car. Well, let me know in the comments which cars were snubbed, and your own personal top 10. Our stop is here, but the only way to exit is by hitting that like and subscribe button. This is also your ticket to our next one, so see you there.